Hello everyone and welcome again to the Johnny Appleseed Organic Village. I'm here today with Michael Leach and Brentley Stead from Bee Friends Farm for the next in our series of videos on beekeeping and for today's video we're going to actually install some hives. So welcome Michael and Brentley. Thanks for having us. Absolutely. So as you can see we've already installed a bench here where our hives are actually going to sit and before we get started I think Michael has a few things that he wants to share about the importance of its height and how we built it. So I'm going to turn it over to you to do that. All right thank you. When you're setting up your hive in your backyard, there's a few things to consider. Some of the things are the height of the bench and the length of the bench are important, as well as the strength of the bench and being able to support the weight of the new colonies. So we like to keep the hive uh, bench about 16 inches high. In the future, these hives will grow taller and you don't want to have them above your head trying to work the hives later. So you want to start off a little lower than higher. When in doubt, you can go about knee high. So as you've seen in our previous videos, you can capture and bait your own swarm, but if you're choosing to buy your own nucleus, this is what it will look like. So a nucleus is a small colony of bees that has a queen in all stages of brood and bees. So it's an active working hive that you will install this into your new beehive that you've built recently. And it'll grow and expand into a full strength colony over a small period of time. This box has everything you need to start your own hive in your backyard. All right, so when you watched our last video, we were just getting these hives ready to go. They've now been painted with a semi-gloss exterior paint and they look great. So we're excited to get our bees into the hive. And on the color choice, uh, white is pretty common, but you can choose any color you'd like as long as it's a lighter color uh, tone and not a really dark color. Uh, the darker colors can tend to make the hive temperatures much hotter and harder for the bees to maintain the interior temperature. When you purchase your nucleus hive or referred to as a nook, it will come with five frames already installed. So you'll need to remove five of the frames that came with your hive kit previously and get them out of the way. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and go into the nook and we're gonna move it over and transfer it into our hive. We're gonna give the entrance just a little bit of smoke. You don't need to overdo it here. Uh, a little bit goes a long ways. The top could be a little sticky. We're going to be, be easy and gentle just to open it up real gently. All right, and just give a little more smoke up under the underneath the lid and let them kind of have a moment to settle down. Okay. It looks right. like a nice hive. Yeah, it looks like a really good nook. When you buy a nucleus hive from your supplier, it should be nearly five frames of bees filled out like this one. This hive is a uh, actually made a little bit what we refer to as burr comb up on the top so we do like to take the hive tool and just kind of scrape that off out of our way and um, sometimes it's filled with honey and you can chew on that now you should always reserve your wax which i'm sure there'll be a later video where we discuss what to do with your excess wax all right just shake off the bees Good. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and give me a little more smoke. I'm going to give him a little more smoke here on the top. And we're going to open up. It's always important when you're going into a tight space like this, it's like this nucleus is with full of bees, is to start on the outside frame. Uh, try to avoid opening or removing the first inside frames um, that you may actually um, accidentally kill the queen. We're going to just ease this first frame all the way out. Going slowly as possible. Yeah, be very careful at that time. Usually the outside frame is filled with uh, nectar and food for the bees, but this particular one already has some cat brood. So we're just going to go ahead and, in the same order it come from the nook, we're going to put it into the hive. And we're always putting them in the center of the hive so that it keeps the hive warm because that's where they're naturally going to want to put their, their brood when they structure their hive. Taking a little, you know, inspection of the bees as I move them. Uh, keeping my eye open for the queen. What happens if you don't find her? If, 
if you don't find the queen during this process, it, uh, it's um, it's not uncommon. But if you take a moment to look for some eggs that she laid, um, eggs are only three days old, so you know that she's around. This is another full brain of a brood frame of bees. Oh, this hive is looking fantastic. Yeah, so we've removed two and a half frames of what we refer to as brood comb. And that is very good. That means this hive is going to um, expand and populate very rapidly moving forward. You should expect no less than that when you purchase your nook. At least two and a half to three frames of cat brood. And this one has another yeah. full now, frame. Let's, can we look at that queen cell real quick? Because there's a, yeah. a, a fantastic looking queen cell right in the center of this, this nucleus hive. Um, and tell, are we looking, is that a good thing? Do we want to put that in another hive? That actually is, um, we refer to as this as a, a, a queen cell that's actually in the supersedure position, which means that the hive has decided to raise a new queen to replace the original mother. Um, or it could have been triggered for a little overcrowding. So this nucleus hive, when we opened it, you notice it was pretty packed with bees and a lot of brood. So the hive may have um, has intentions of swarming out because of the overcrowded situation. So when you purchase a nucleus hive, this isn't mo the ideal thing for you to receive. The beekeeper should have uh, checked it before this stage. All right. So we've made a decision that we're going to go ahead and remove this uh, cell this is a little queen cell we're going to carefully just pinch it up at the top and gently rock it back and forth and we removed it so we've now removed the queen cell away from the comb um, our thought is that by doing that we will have um and in, in transferring the bees into a larger hive they will forget or lose the tendency to raise a swarm cell all right so the next, uh, I'm gonna just set this aside for right now and we'll, we'll maybe in another video show you how we use that queen cell. Uh, one tip that I like to give, now we've installed the first four frames of brood into the colony and honey. I like to slide the first foundation up against those four frames, leaving one outside space for the last frame in the nucleus hive. This will help the, or encourage the bees to expand out quicker and drawing out the wax on that frame quicker. Again, these bees look very healthy, have a huge population. They'll be happy to have a new home. Now what about all those bees in that box? So now your nucleus might have a uh, hive, might still have a lot of residents in the old hive. What I usually do is I just close up the lid carefully, shaking them down. And then I just give them a gentle tap on the bottom. Mm -hmm. That then kind of balls them up to the bottom. And then we just give them a, a little shake over the top of the hive. And the remaining bees will just place out front and they will just drift into the hive over the next hour. So you'll give them one last little bit of puff of smoke and then we'll go ahead and seal them up. And they've just moved to a great big mansion and they're pretty happy about it. So we've installed the first uh, nucleus in our first hive. And as you notice from the video, the, high, the nucleus was a little overcrowded and had nearly five frames of cat brood in it. And it might have triggered a swarm tendency because of the overcrowding. So that may be a nucleus hive that you would want to pass on from your supplier because it, it may have the tendency to swarm early and you wouldn't benefit from the bees that early spring. So now we're going to compare it to a second nucleus hive. And in this case, there's a lesser of a bee population almost to the point where they haven't even started working on one of the five frames that it comes with. So this case might be a little bit too weak for you to uh, start with, or it might be less of a hive than you'd want to normally start with from a supplier. 
So we're going to go ahead and install it into the full hive anyways. Um, and they'll do just fine. These are our own hives. And we're going to go ahead and start with our first frame. And it's a nice frame of just some nectar for the bees. So it's a good food frame, I refer to it. And remember, we're putting them in the center of the box. Our second frame is a frame of brood. That's looking pretty good. Yep. A little bit of food around the edges. Some more brood. And we've got a little bit of burr comb at the top of this one, which as we recall, is just a little extra wax at the top of the frame. So just looking in the last frame, it's full of uh, young eggs and larvae. So this is a, this is a minimal size nucleus hive. It did meet the minimum uh, as far as the brood and the larva of two, three, two and a half, three frames. Uh, but if it was any less than this, I would probably consider another uh, nucleus hive to start with. Um, we're just going to go ahead and shake out the last few bees here. Case, we're just going to leave them all closed up in the middle. I'm going to remove the last of this bird film. Up here. All right, go ahead and lit them up. So we're going to work on the third hive. So the first hive was a little little strong. Um, the second one was more on the weaker side. So that you've seen both extremes. We're hoping number three will uh, prove us different here. Oh, it looks like we've got a little bit of honey in this one. Yep, some more burr comb and, and very crowded with bees. And a little smoke. Again, working from the outside, we want to kind of give as much clearance as we can as we remove that first frame and be as gentle as we can on the first frame or all frames. It looks like you've got a little bit of pollen, a little bit of honey. So this frame is mostly a, what we refer to as a food frame. And we'll go ahead and put it out here on the outside edge. Now as on the, the first hive, we actually will pull the first foundation up against that food frame like this. And then we'll continue to put the rest of the, transfer the rest of the nucleus over. Now, do we want to be seeing burr comb at the top or is it? Yeah, that's usually a good healthy sign that they're, they're collecting nectar and they're just running out a little bit of space. So a nice brood frame here. A uh, good example, of some uh, pollen that they've stored in the colony. If you can see the yellows and the oranges, they're using that to feed this brood as they raise it. I'm going to go ahead and put that in. So that's a nice, Brood comb, that's one. A second really nice brood comb. And our last frame is a young eggs and larva. So this is a very uh, good healthy hive and the population looks just right 
and we didn't observe any swarm cells or any kind of queen cells in this one. So this would have been a very good nucleus hive um, to acquire. All right, now when I went through that nucleus, I did not observe the queen as I was going through the frames. So sometimes you do need to be careful that the queen isn't still left in the box. I'm just gonna take a quick peek and see if I happen to notice her. And no, I don't see her in there. So we're gonna go ahead and shake these bees in, into the hive. I'm a little tap. Place the rest of it out front. All right. And just straighten up the body. All right. So we're wrapped up. We've got all four of our nucleus hives installed. And we'll wait about a week before we go back and do an inspection on them and see how things are progressing. And when we finish transferring the nucleus hives, we uh, just place their empty boxes out front. Any of the loose bees that haven't made into their hive yet will drift in there over the next hour. All right, thank you guys for joining us for this video on installing bees in our hives. Be sure to check back if you enjoyed this video and follow Johnny Appleseed Organic on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook, and look for Bee Friends Farm also on Instagram and Facebook. Until next time.